thank you to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Your support helps keep the lights on. Find out how you can become a Patreon supporter or YouTube member in the description below. What's going on, my kids? Today's each paper three tail fox foxy come back at you with a brand new episode of City Skyline Zero Carry on Atoll. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building the truck stop of the town, one of the main stops on exit 28 for the town of Starla. You might have actually noticed me name it in the previous episode out here, at least in terms of like you know the exit sign out here. But yeah, I'd say this actually turned out pretty nice out here. We got a little bit of a Casey's. I was actually originally going to put down a sheets, but um, as it turns out, I'm going to need to um. What is it again? I'm, I'm gonna need to kind of mess around with that too. Originally, I was actually gonna use the parking lot roads too, but yeah, it was going to be a sheets, but we we're gonna use parking lot roads initially. That was kind of my thought process, but I'm like, actually, a Casey's doesn't sound too bad. And I think last year too, at the time of recording this, I'll tell you what, right now, still love Casey's Pizza. It's just as good as I remembered it too. Although, granted, it does do pretty good for gas station slash Walmart pizza. And actually, the reason why I say Walmart in particular is because Walmart actually bought Casey's, although we're not going to be building a Walmart for quite a while, actually. So, yeah, that's going to be fun out here. But anyways, right now we're currently adding in a few other things as well. We're currently adding in the parking lots as well. Although we are going to eventually demolish these because I'm like, wait a minute. If I'm going to put a parking lot road down, why not actually embed them in the actual building out here too? Why do this? Because um, clearly I'm supposed to do that with the uh, McDonald's and the Casey's, so I figured why the hell not? And yes, I did kind of edit the terrain a little bit too. That's why we have that giant spike there briefly because I had the wrong tool. I'm not really sure why it defaults you here, but it does for some weird reason. But anyways, right now we got a little McDonald's out here. And yes, we're building a McDonald's next to the Casey's. Although McDonald's has gone downhill in quality though. It still kind of has a special place in my heart. I mean, look at the background. If you've ever come into the, li if you've ever come into the live streams out here too, kind of look at the background of the Fox cam and you'll kind of see where I'm getting at with that out here too. But yeah, we got the McDonald's over here. So I think that does look pretty good. I did have to move the McDonald's back so I could kind of add like a little parking lot out here. So yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. But anyways, right now we got the... Um, McDonald's out here. We got a few other things going on as well. And so, so, so many things on going to. Of course, we also got to do the pathways for the park out here too, or the parking lot, I should say. And I'm just going to say this right here and now. Like, I, I'm just going to like say this right here and now. Those pathways work way, way better than any sort of surface painter ever does. Although that's partially because the pathway kind of gives a, um, what was it again? Kind of gives a bit more control over the way you can place it, so that's kind of why I like it a little bit better. And also, speaking of, um, I just thought about this. I meant to say this about my commentary on the previous episode, because someone actually commented on it. They seemed quite annoyed with it. I'm just going to say it right now. I, I don't give a shit, okay? I'm just going to be that guy. I'm just going to say it. Like, I I'm not going to, like, you know, stop saying something here, because, um, one or two people actually said I shouldn't, you know? I, I should have so finished that sentence with those two dreaded words that I think about it. But then again, I'm kind of in the state where it's like, listen, I've had to deal with a lot already. I'm already having to um, bend to someone else's will out here too, because... And, and for those of you guys who um, keep an eye on the Discord server, you know exactly what I mean out here too. Even if I did manage to complete the um, Patreon drive, I still have to deal with, um, let's just say, narcissistic family that just will not stop crying about me wanting to do this for a living, so... I've had to temporarily give them what they want, but it is going to come at the expense of both A, me leaving their clutches, and B, you know, kind of planning on sniffing all the contact when I get the hell out. If all goes well with that too, it should be out by the end of the year, and it looks like it probably will. I've been having some thoughts running through my mind, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really see it. Now that I think rationally about it, I don't really see a way that it can go wrong out here. I could be deadly wrong, too. All it takes is um, one person with FU power and FU levels of free time, but, eh, what can what can you do? But anyways, um, back off of that topic right now, we're currently working on the parking lots themselves, and I'm trying to move the actual parking out, like, you know, to its correct area. I'll tell you what right now, the movement mod is way easier to work with in Cities 1 than it ever was with Cities 2, and I'm hopeful that it gets updated in the near future because movement with City Skylines 2 is just crashing the game into oblivion right now. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm the only one experiencing it, but it was more so when the content creator packs released it started, which is strange because, um, unlike what I was saying in the previous episode of in Port St. Glacy, unlike what I was saying in that, 
there was no game update that came with it, which is weird because usually when a paid DLC does come out from Paradox, I do kind of sort of expect it to be coupled with a free update. Usually it is. I mean, I'm probably, we're probably going to see that with bridges and ports, but apparently we get a few new content creator packs and stuff like that coming for that game. So hopefully that's going to be awesome out here. Hopefully I can also kind of complete my collection out here of City Skylines 1, even though it's technically impossible to use, um, what was it again? City Skylines, um, one, or all the City Skylines, one DLC in one city. There, there, there's a reason why I'd rather have the complete collection, but I don't know. Part of me on Steam, because I got a few Steam gift cards out here as a, um, birthday present out here, and I kind of wanted to, um, get Hearts of Iron with them instead. I wanted to see if it's on sale more specifically, because I know Paradox, at the time of recording this, it's December 3rd at the time of recording this, so... If you're seeing this and you're not seeing it early access as a YouTube member or as a member of the Patreon out here, if you're not seeing that, and by the way too, um, check in the description if you do want to join that once again out here too. We got a lot more benefits I'm currently thinking about rolling out to you guys right now because I really kind of want to start really focusing on the Patreon in particular. Really want to start focusing on that, but anyways, um... I don't know if Hearts of Iron is still on sale. Last I checked, it was November 28th, although I heard it was also 70% off after that cutoff date, too. So it's possible the sale kind of got extended, although 70% off means the um, game and the two DLCs should be way less than they were before. So if I'm correct on this, it should have paid to hold off out here. But anyways, right about now, got a few other things going on at the moment. And of course, you know, with the leftovers out here, since I got a bunch left over, I do plan on getting like, you know, the last, at least like one of the city skylines DLCs that I really want because I'm annoyed with the amount of, amount of mods that require it. So yeah, it's gonna be really nice out here. We're just finishing off this little parking lot right now. I wanna get back on the topic of the bill, but the problem is that I just can't right now. And yes, I'm recording this on a mental health break again. Listen, things have been burning down a lot too, and I'm kind of tired of it. Trust me, I'm tired of it too, okay? I'm tired of it too. But anyways, we're building the Casey signs and everything like that, the McDonald's signs and whatnot. And we do finish this episode off by adding some parking lot details. And I'm just going to say right now with the parking lot details I've already been able to get right now, chef's kiss right there. Still need to fix the, um, I'm trying to think here. I still need to fix the, what was it again? I still need to fix prop line tool, prop line tool anarchy, stuff like that. And with the death of the afternoon slots, I might be able to get more time to fix it. So I might as well kind of like start planning that before that time gets eaten away at because of um, something I need to announce with the community tab. Again, I gotta get the hell out of my current situation. It is getting stupid. And I don't think we're gonna be able to get the support on content needed to do it. So I had to give in to um, a certain one's demands out here too, but I'm already working hard to make sure that um, that does not kill the channel out here. I'm working hard to make sure that doesn't happen. So yeah, listen, okay, these people, like these people, these giant babies that I call parents out here, are already unwrapping one Christmas present after after another out here too, so kind of don't need them unwrapping more, you know, st something like that. That's kind of my mentality towards it. But anyways, that's gonna just about do it for this video. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now, and have a great day or night, no matter where in the world you may be.